All right, Jack, it's been a while. It's been some time. And talking about time, we've got a great show today. It's, we're going to be talking about Donald Trump is a time traveler. No question marks. We're not thinking he's a time traveler. We're saying he's a time traveler. And do we have proof? Of course we have proof. Of, of course we do. And that's why Donald Trump, greatest president of the modern era, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. He's going to give us a call. And be like, hey, you guys are awesome. You're beautiful. I love your show. Great Americans. So are you saying on our time travel show with Donald Trump, you're saying you're making a prediction that Donald Trump is going to call us in the future. Jack, are you a time traveler? Yes, I am. Well, we know you're going to uh, volunteer for the Space Force. As I well. am a time traveler. So you're going to be in the Time Traveler Division of the Space Force. Yes. That's awesome. Tell us a little bit, Jack, about... Oh, hey, before we even get into that, the Space Force. All right. All right. So President Trump is going to start the Space Force. Yes. I think it's going to actually be called... It's going to be the Space Time Continuum Force. But it's only going to be called the Space Force. It's really going to... You know how they have, they have black ops objects, uh, black, what's that called? Ops. Ops projects where, like, money goes somewhere else. Stuff gets paid for, but it looks like you're buying, like, a toilet costs, like, $200,000. But we all know that's not so, logical. No, toilet seats are going to cost $4,000 yeah. for the Space Force. <laughs> so, so, so President Trump's like, I'm just going to make a new program. It's, it's going to be more transparent. But we won't show you everything. But we're gonna we're leaning towards something like we're gonna give everyone a little bit more information of what's going on. Oh, like, absolutely. Like the aliens might be revealed. Well, one thing about the space force: the helmets have to be orange. They have to uh, after Donald Trump. Yes, they got they got to be orange helmets. That's all I got to say about that. But uh, so the time the space force time continuum program. All right. So I think it's going to delve into space, deal with like missions in outer orbit, outer orbit missions. But I think there's going to be programs, high secret programs with time travel. And you tell me, Jack, and we didn't pre-discuss this. I'm picking your brain. I'm going to give you a little test right now. How would Trump have information from the past about technology, electric technology, what's the connection between Trump and past technologies? Okay. Donald, Donald Trump, okay, President Trump, he comes from one of the most intelligent families known in the past century. His uncle, his name was John Trump. Right. And he was a professor at MIT. And everyone knows that MIT is where all the smartest people go to school. Especially back in the day. Back in the day, today, that's like the place where smart people are. Right. Um, so when Tesla, Nikola Tesla, passed away, the U.S. government, through their alien confiscation program, whatever it's called, and I don't think it's from aliens in space, but he was like a... American citizen, but he was originally an, an, an immigrant, and we got right through the alienization yeah. program. That's like usually what it was called back then. Um, they, when he passed away, they took all of his documents, his papers, went through his stuff, and when the government took it, they hired someone. Like the government's not smart. Right. They had to hire a scientist. Who did they? They hired. Hire? They hired John John Trump, Trump uncle to president. Donald J. Trump. Right. So, and yeah, you passed that test. You get an A+. Plus. Okay. Um, oh, Donald, hey, oh, Donald hey, Trump hey, knew for his the uncle next, well. Yeah. But wait, before we start anything, I'll go back to the Space Force. The reason why I think space is needed for time travel is I believe you need a vacuum for space travel. Yeah. I think you need electrical... Pulses to travel through a vacuum. Right. 
I think I just think that's what's needed. That's one of the main ingredients to space travel. Well, Tesla. You could um, rec recreate it on Earth, but in space, it's like a vacuum. So see, it's like a playground for space travel. They never told you. Um, John Trump got a hold of Tesla's experiments, some of which he thought were true. Yes. Like he thought about them and thought about them. He thought they were ridiculous at first, but once he put them through testing, he realized that, holy cow, well, Tesla, Tesla was a genius. That technology yes. to travel through space could be in there. Yes. Now, if you hear people, they'll say John Trump said that his recommendations was – the final recommendations was that it was – there was nothing to gain from his work, which I don't – think what he was trying to say was we didn't have the technology and the understanding to progress his work at the time. Right. Like, he, like, you don't tell... They didn't have the technology. They didn't have, plus, you don't tell secrets to people when you're still trying to learn the secrets. Right. And plus, you still don't give your secrets, secrets away. I mean, look at KFC. We still don't know the secret ingredients. I don't know. Look at, like, any... Any company is like, hey, the secret sauce, the secret formula, da da da. We're not giving you that. It's no, worth a million dollars. You. It could be something outrageously miraculous and brilliant, or something or it simple. Could be something stupid like uh, we put a uh, cornmeal in our yeah. fried chicken. Why does this taste like chicken? Because it's chicken. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Tesla, and then you got John Trump. John Trump. Smart, smart man. Right. He was he, very, very good friends. Him and Trump, I mean, they're... It was his uncle, but he loved right. his uncle. They hung and out all the time. He talks about his uncle. They hung out, and he says, he, Donald Trump, President Trump said, my uncle had Tesla's notes. Right. And he explained these notes to Donald Trump. Yes. So if anyone on the planet Earth would know what was in Tesla notes, it is Trump. Yes. And the significant thing is, Tesla says in his documentation, in his notes, I have time traveled. Yeah. He says, I haven't perfected it yet, but I have time traveled. I've read up on Tesla. He said that he created a fog where he's seen the future and he's seen the past. Right. And I don't know if he could interact with it, but he's seen it. He could observe it. And like an out, outside observer, yeah. And I don't know if he like is perfecting it where you can communicate through it. Maybe it's electronic communication through it. Maybe with our technology today, maybe that's why the internet had to be invented. Maybe they invented the internet so you could communicate through time travel. Maybe he was looking at the Akashic records. Yes, you never maybe. know. Maybe it's a theory. So, Trump, Space the cloud, Force... The cloud system today we have. Right. Was that invented for time travel to be done? It could be the first um, steps of time travel. So, is time travel really... You could see the past and present, but also you could participate by transferring messages. Yeah. Is that like the main... Well, they have this blockchain technology now. And you put blockchain and you... Uh, mix it in with quantum computers, uh, you could be creating your own reality. Like some people think that we are living in a Sims, like in a Sim game almost. Yeah. We could create an alternate reality, an alternate timeline with quantum computers. Oh, yeah. Yep. In theory. Um, so let's go back to like the whole thing on. Trump being a time traveler. So we got Tesla, his uncle. It's just a coincidence. Trump could be having Tesla's work. But then there's a book written by a guy named Ingersoll Lockwood. Back in like the 1890s, he wrote three books. Um, one was called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. Yep. Another book's called The Last President. Yep. And there was another book called Baron Trump's Great Dog or something like that. Or mm. there was a dog, book about a dog with a trip with a dog. Yeah, Trump doesn't have a dog that I'm aware of. Maybe he will in the future. 
Uh, he might have had a favorite dog when he was a boy. True. So, um, and if we talk to President Trump, maybe we can talk to him. Hey, dude, do you have a favorite Question dog? Question number one when Trump gets a hold of the Paranormal Roadshow is, did you have a dog or do you plan on getting a dog in the future? Or the past. Maybe he had a dog in a different time. In a different timeline. In the year 2060, he has a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think Trump is so ahead of the game? Donald Trump, and anybody can look this up, wrote in the year 2000 that I'll, um, Osama bin Laden was going to attack New York he, in 2000. One year later, that's exactly what happened. Yep. Osama bin Laden attacked New York. He, he's one step ahead of everybody yes. all the time. Hey, I, I predicted that too, though. Nah, that's true. But you don't have a time. When I was in, in the 90s, how do you know? For a senior paper, I wrote about how, I didn't say Osama would do it, but I said, hey, they're going to attack this and this with that, and it happened. That's true. So. Jack and Trump, well, we can ask you a question. But when, tr we, when Trump comes into the paranormal realm. I don't have time traveling technology, though. No. See, I, I have practiced astral projection, which I think goes through different times. So you don't need a machine. No, but I'm not an expert at it. But I have attempted it, and I do believe I have asked really projected. Didn't you well, say you've done that before or tried? No, not me. Well, I uh, used to meditate when I was younger, um, but I never really achieved anything. Anytime I got close to, I got scared, and uh, I, I stopped it. So you I've know, practiced I that, and I've practiced um, trying to go places with my mind. You know, like the, like the old secret CIA programs they had. So, well, um, but yeah, let's go back to the book. So, oh, yeah. Baron Trump, about the, books. the marvelous underground journey. Who is Baron Trump? That's Donald Trump's son, right? And I'm not going to talk about his son because I think his son he looks just like him when he was a kid, like awesome kid. Yeah, he, I mean, he looks like he's an awesome kid, and. uh uh, he seems like he's very intelligent, probably a genius because his whole family, are, they're all smart. Donald right. Trump's a genius. His uncle was a genius. Right. And other family members, they're all geniuses. Barron's probably a genius. But did Barron, is he a time traveler? I don't know. I don't know. You were telling me just a few minutes ago before we started this uh, podcast that some people think he's autistic. Baron Trump. Yeah. But it could just be a sign of genius. Yeah, he's probably just a genius. Right. He could yeah. have the genius. It could have um, skipped the generation from his uncle. He could have the, the brain power of his uncle, John. Oh, yeah. Or great uncle, it would be. Um, and then The Last President, that's a book. It pretty much spells out the last election. Where... It's like an outsider candidate wins and people don't accept it. And look at it. And then they throw riots and stuff and they don't accept the president that gets elected. What's going on right now? President Trump got elected. The Democrats, the liberals, they all cry, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. It's not our president. And in their eyes, President Obama was the last president. And they don't view President Trump as a president. Donald Trump, I liked Obama personally. I didn't like his politics. I didn't like what he tried to do. But I liked that he was hopeful. Yeah. And he wanted to make the world a better place, but he wasn't smart enough. He's not smart enough to do it. Trump is smart enough to make the world a better place. Now, was he not... See, I think he's a smart guy. I think... He, he just, wasn't ahead of his time. Smart. I think, see... I have nothing against President Obama. I didn't know him. But I think he just used the words hope and change to get to an agenda. I think he knew what agenda he wanted. I think he manipulated a lot of people. Right. He was, um, he so, was smart, but not ahead of his time. Smart, yeah. Like Trump. Like yeah. Trump's like a once in a lifetime leader. Yeah. Obama was just kind of, kind of cool smart. Yeah. Like the cool kid smart. Yeah, he was, I mean, he's very intelligent. But Donald Trump is fulfilling what Obama wanted to do. Yeah. He, but he's doing it in his own way. Yeah. President Trump gets stuff done. 
Yeah, absolutely. And time travel. Did, does he have help? He has this technology, supposedly. He's building the Space Force. Uh, he's giving more money towards that effort. Not just the Space Force. He's trying to get that started. But he's also giving more money for uh, the missile defense system that yeah. protects the planet from asteroids. That's a new one. Some people think there's a conspiracy there. Now, is, did, did Donald Trump travel back in time to become president to save the world? That's a theory out there. Did he right. know the future? Because some people, there was like some people online, people saying they came from the future and said we went into World War, nuclear war back in 2015. We would have had nuclear war. And we, that's, that time's passed. Did the timeline change? Well, that's, Are we still in danger of a nuclear war? Are we in danger of uh, an attack from somebody? Well, that makes Is my Donald mind. Trump here to save the world? That makes my mind really open up like, wow, let's see what he's doing. So if he knew he would come back and do certain specific things to save the world or the country from whatever that tragedy is going to be. So maybe he did come back in 2000. That's maybe when he came back to. I'm, I'm going to go back to the year 2000. I'm going to tell everybody about 9-11. But nobody listened to him. Yeah. So he, now he's president. What is he doing? You know, if he had information of the future. And what think is about he doing those now? messages building were electronic messages. Yeah, building the wall could be something that he knows that needs done. We need to protect. It'll protect our us from something. From something that's going to happen in the future. Yeah. Right. Maybe it's going to be some immigrants that sneak in with so, a dirty bomb or something. Right, and start a chain of events. So he's building the wall and keeping those people out. MS-13, that gang ISIS. that he's going over, yeah. ISIS, he's going after these people because that is where the threat is because he's seen the future. Yes, he's trying to protect us. Right. Is that the question? Now, for evidence, like we have like, everyone knows about the books, like very coincidences, Baron Trump, Trump, one of the main characters in the books name's Don. Right. I mean, like, yeah. So like, there's always coincidences, but my evidence is... Donald Trump himself. He's always ahead of the game. Everything he says, he'll come out like when he was running for president, he talked about illegal immigration. No one else was talking about it. And then like two weeks later, you had someone murdered by an illegal immigrant. You had, then it became a big story. It's like he knew it was going to happen. He knew it was going to happen. So it was like he had a paper, he had like all the newspapers because you know he loves reading newspapers. Oh, yeah. It's like he, he had all the newspapers for the next 10 years. He's like, oh, this is big. I'm going to talk about this because in three weeks this is going to happen. So and he then, was, in the future, he came back to like, let's say around 2000. He knew not to run for president back then. Yeah. He knew not to run against Obama that he would lose. He knew everything. Yes. He knew he could beat Hillary. He just strolls in. Ah, I'm going to be president. It's time. You know, it's time. Because I know the future. Yeah. And he just boom, boom, And he boom. knows exactly what to say. He, he beat 16 people easily yes. in the Republican to get his nomination. And then he handed Hillary's ass to her. Yeah. But he, seemed to, he seems to know what to say before it's important. Right. That's my evidence. He knows stuff that no one else knows. And, like, he's never wrong. He's Everything he game. says... People laugh at him the day he says it, and then like a week or two or a month later, like, wow, that was really important. What he said has validity. There's like, wow, what, wow, he, we should have listened to him. Right. So when he says something, you should listen to what he says because it's probably going to happen. Right, and he came back with all this information. I need to become friends with uh, Kim from North Korea. We need to be friends with him. We need to stop China. Uh, through tariffs and other because means. Because they'll Cause maybe block nukes from being right. made. So he's putting all these roadblocks to stop what happened in the future that he knows. So is, is Donald Trump our president, a time traveler? Do you We're know, saying yes. Do you know one thing, though, I don't think, I don't know if it's a, a different timeline or not, but I think 
Because every president comes in and sometimes they're told everything. They're told about like the alien agenda. Some presidents are allowed to know these things and some presidents aren't. Yeah. I think Trump found out about that about a year and a half into his presidency. That shocked him because he knew the future, but he didn't know that part. That's the only thing. So you think that's new information to him? I think... I think he was shocked about that. He learned about that because he put his... Well, I th- this is what I think. I'll go ahead and finish your statement. Oh, he put Mattis in as head of the uh, military, and as soon as that happened, there was a change in him. Yeah. Because math is like, well, I can tell you all the secrets now. You're president. This is the technology we have recovered from extraterrestrials. I don't want to get too far off yeah. time travel. But I think that's the only thing in his presidency... He didn't know it was going to happen. You know, everything I, else he knew because of I time think, travel. I think President Trump knows a lot of stuff the government doesn't know, though. I think he knows a lot of stuff. Well, he has the Democrats spinning. They have absolutely no idea how to come after Trump. He's Teflon Don, literally. A whole group, half of the country putting their minds together. They can't come up with anything even plausible to try to beat him. They can't. He's so far ahead of everybody. He's a genius. And there's no Is he a time way. traveler or is he just a genius and just outwits everyone? I mean, the more we talk about this, the more... He is so far ahead of everybody. He has to have knowledge of the future. He has to. There's no way any human being could figure this out through rational thinking. He has to have an inside edge. He has to have time traveled. That's the only possible way to explain why he's so successful. Hey, we think you're great, President Trump, so if you're a time traveler, secretly come to us if you want. Hey, I want to time travel with you. Right, what do you got That's, to lose? I'll help you out. Right. You yeah, can, what do you got to lose? We're just regular he guys. He can wait till, you know what, uh, Mr. Trump, President Trump, if you want to wait till after the election, once you, you know, when you get, when you're the president again after 2020, come talk to us. That way you have nothing to lose. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about re-election. Now you can come and you can tell the truth on the Paranormal Road Show. We're asking yeah. you. You didn't have to do a show with us. It would be cool just to talk to him, wouldn't it? Yeah. No, it'd be cool. Like it doesn't have to come on our show. But yeah. you can just... It'd be nice to have a conversation. Right, I mean... We'll keep a secret. I mean, all we have is a, like a voice recorder, you know. I said, like, we don't got a lot of listeners, so... Right. Make sure you bring... Uh, uh, I don't really care about listeners. It's just... Yeah, you know, bring your daughters and your wife, you know, that'd be nice. We'll have a little picnic, you know. And uh, the dog. There's a dog somewhere in some dog. time. Who's the dog? Right. Yeah. Baron, bring Baron. We can hang out, we'll go out in the backyard, you know. My son's thirteen. Yeah. So we can play together. We'll just have a picnic. Uh, I like it. But so yeah, I think man, I really don't is you have anything else you wanna add? I can't think about it. I think I've just talked myself into realizing he's a time traveler. He's a time traveler. He has to be. When I when I I never thought of it in that aspect until we sat down to do this show. That's what I was trying to tell you. I was like, you had it figured out before, I, but but you have it. You understand that. I understand. He is a time traveler. Jack, you're you're right most of the time. For sure. And I'm telling you, time travel needs a vacuum. You create like an electrical storm in a vacuum. I believe that you, you, it's like you create an electrical storm in a vacuum within a vacuum. Like a bubble with a storm in a vacuum. Yeah. We'll have to uh, do and you a have, little more. And, and I don't know any more on that, but that's what I'm envisioning. Because I've read a lot about time travel. Have you read when the guy that was in World War Two, a pilot from England. He flew into an electrical cloud. Right. And he flew over um, areas from World War One. Oh, wow. And you can look this up online. I might have it backwards. It might have been World War I, I era that flew to World War Two, But the topography all changed. The planes and everything, everything was different. And then he flew back through this electrical cloud. 
and then he was back in his time. Well, supposedly the government uh, experimented with time travel. What was that one ship? That was they made the Philadelphia. Right, the Philadelphia experiment. That was supposedly that was with Tesla too. Tesla's technology. Where, where people got morphed into the ship and people disappeared. So you know. And they phased in and out. You know Don or John Trump was there and he told Donald about that. He had to have. Donald knows all this. He's so far ahead of the game. When Trump comes out and he's like, I know more about this or I know more about that than anybody. He does because. He does say that. He's got the he's like, He's like, I know. He knows. So. And, and I say, you can't it. know something unless you know it. If he was so full of shit, he would be called on all this stuff. But he, he's never he's wrong. He's never called on it because he's never wrong about any of it. The man's a genius. Yeah. So, and you got to be a genius to understand time travel. So. Right. You're a genius plus time travel equal awesome. Genius infinity. Awesomeness. All right. Well, this is Jack, and this is the Paranormal Road Show. Thanks yeah, for listening. Yeah, this is Mike. Sorry it's been such a long time since we had a show. Busy uh, with the work and all. So, thanks for listening. All right, have a good night. Have a good day.